So LeBron James just a few days ago was eliminated from the first round for only the second time in his career. Now, obviously, probably one of the toughest, well, probably definitively the toughest first round series that he's ever had before in his entire career when you factor that he had to go up against a team that I believe will win the NBA Finals, the Denver Nuggets. They'll probably go back to back unless Boston can beat them. I think Boston can beat them, maybe. Right now, I feel like Denver's got it, but besides the point, LeBron, out of the postseason, he, in the interview process, had a very very similar interview to last year, in my opinion, where very unclear on the future. I think LeBron is a little bit more calculated than that. I think he knows exactly what he's doing and what he wants to do, but I don't think he's going to make a decision until maybe even after the Olympics, maybe in the midst of the Olympics. Because you got to remember, that's coming up in June. That's going to be interesting to watch. That's automatically going to draw more people into the Olympic Games. Uh, But he's got a decision to make on what he wants to do next year. And I think there's only really, well, there's four viable decisions that he could do. The first one is, Obviously, retire. I doubt he retires. He's just, he's not at the point yet where it looks like he's going to retire. I think he's got one to two more years that he's going to stay in the NBA. I think he could play maybe three, but I think one to two more years sounds more realistic for a guy like LeBron James. That would make a lot more sense into what he was going to do. So I don't think he retires. And then I think if you're looking at teams that he could maybe go to, there's going to be buzz about the Warriors because Steve Kerr is going to be the coach of the Olympic team, and I, I don't think LeBron's going to sign a, the deal with the Lakers at that point because he's already said he's going to opt out of his contract. But that's if you're a, uh, in terms of meaning he's going back to the Lakers, that means nothing because this is something we've seen LeBron James do time and time again. He did it in Miami on the first stint after like two years returned. I'm pretty sure. Did it in Cleveland several times. I think he like opted out every year and would sign like a one year deal with them, pretty much giving them no leverage at all. And I think he's done it before now. Maybe not, but this is not it's not something that is that concerning. It's a restructure of a deal. He he often opts out of contracts. So that doesn't necessarily him opting out won't mean for sure that he's not going back to LA. But I think there's gonna be buzz about the Warriors. I don't think he, that's actually going to happen, but there's going to be buzz there, and there's going to be buzz about him returning to Cleveland, which I also think would be a heck of a stretch. I think they kind of, would they like to have him? Obviously, they need, that would be a player that they need that catapults them to probably getting out of the East, but I don't know, I don't know if I see him going back there. I think what's most likely realistically going to happen is he's going to sit back for a little bit. He's going to wait for this Lakers roster to kind of build itself up, see what they do in the offseason. They have decisions to make. They have decisions to make with what they're going to do with D'Lo. Like, who know, like will what's going to happen there? We don't know. They have the Jared Vanderbilt decision to make. They have, are they going to make a trade? Are they going to do a swing? We, that's stuff that isn't really known at the time, but it's going to be a big factor to what he does. But if I had to give a baseline prediction of what I think he does right now, I would probably say he's back in LA. I don't think it would be, I don't think they'd be taking a risk signing him to a three year deal, two year deal. They've already, they publicly stated already that they're going to pay him as much money as he wants. They're going to draft his son if he wants them to, which he probably would want them to, they've already expressed that they're going to do this. Because if you really, if you look at the ownership group, uh, Jeannie Buss is one of the just poorest owners in the NBA. There's not a lot of leverage there. And LA, LA is a town, a sports town, where you really have to have a contender. It's tough. It's tough to be a bad team in LA. There's there's too much going on in the city. I mean, it's not it's LA is not 
like Boston, Massachusetts, or Cleveland, Ohio, where that's all you really got is your sports. There's, especially around wintertime, there's not that much else to do. L.A., you got options. There's this going on. There's that. There's winners all around in those parts of the town. So they're going to they're gonna do whatever they can to retain LeBron because he gives them stability and he gives them an opportunity to compete for a title. And like I said, if they, they somehow would have gotten out of this round against the Nuggets, who knows what happens. They had the lead in the they led had the lead in the series seventy percent of it. They just couldn't close in the games. But we'll see what LeBron ends up ends up doing. If if I would have to go with my gut here, I would have to just say what I actually think is going to happen. Looks like he's going to return to L.A. Makes the most sense. He seems to be happy there for right now. And I think the number two option would be Cleveland. And I think the number three option would be the Warriors. Would I be shocked out of my mind if he returned to Cleveland? No, I wouldn't. But I just, if I have a hunch feeling here, it looks like he's going to go back to LA. They just have to make a few moves that he, that he would like that would look decent. But I think that's where he's heading right now. I'm excited to see him in the Olympics. That's going to be exciting. He hasn't been in the Olympics since what, uh, 2012. So it's been like 12 years. It's going to be exciting to see, but I, I think, I think LeBron stays a Laker and I'm pretty sure that's the direction that's going to go. And I would assume it'd be a three-year deal sometime mid June.